You know, when you were at work today, Troy, um, I sanded, um, stained, and lacquered up that cheese press. Oh, nice. Only downside is it's going to take 24 hours to dry. What are we going to do then? Well, I was thinking that instead of paying $3.50, 3 dollars 95 for a cheese mould, which is the size that you would use for brie, camembert, blue cheese, how about we show people how we make them, depending on how it variates and what you choose to purchase, costing between 30 and 65 cents a mould. How's that for a saving? Sounds good to me. Let's do it. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome to Aussie Homesteading. I'm Troy. And I'm Emily. And today we're going to show you how to make cheese moulds. Specifically, today the moulds for brie, camembert and uh, blue vein. Um, the standard mould that you will buy in the stores is 100mm diameter and 90mm high. So, what we're going to use is plumbing pipe. And in actual fact, this is a stronger mould than this. Okay? Now, if you purchase um, this in a 3 metre length, you're going to get it significantly cheaper. In the sense that for 3 metres, you will get it for $10.40. If you buy only one meter, you're going to get it for seven dollars thirty. So, um, if you broke the one meter one down into eleven molds, um, that'll be sixty-six cents a mold. If you used purchased the three meter one, you'd get them for thirty-three cents a mold. Um, now, I know that sounds like a lot. Thirty-three molds, you say? Who the hell wants thirty-three molds? The point is, you could have. Um, half a dozen of for your cheeses and then you could have you know 12 how many dinner guests do you ever have even think christmas time dinner um because what we do and we'll show you the mold before we turn it into a cheese mold i'll show you what i mean you can go the 90 length and um line them with baking paper you know line them all out and you could do a little bit of a cheesecake base do your cheesecake, put them in the fridge, bring them out, decorate them, and then all you do is you lift it up. And they make, they're perfect moulds for many things, sweet or savoury. Um, you know, sky's the limit. And as a chef, I have used these moulds, um, being plumbing pipe, in all different sizes. I've made little petty four size desserts in the smaller ones. Um, that's a little chef secret for you. Plumbing pipe is a fantastic mould and it is used in commercial kitchens I guarantee. Um, so what we're going to do is um, leave that up to you whether you purchase three metres or one metre but even if you only purchased it at the most expensive price being the one metre length and got 11 out of it um, that's still only 66 cents a mould. Now compared to this being 350 or 395 I can't remember um, massive price difference. Now Yes, this one is the 100 mil wide, as the standard one purchased in your shops, cheese making supply shops, brew shops, wherever you're getting your cheese supplies from. And this one is 90, but the point is that it's significantly cheaper buying the 90 mil from your hardware store than it is to get the 100 mil wide. It's about half price. Yeah. A little under half price for the 90. So if you really did want to be the exact same width of an extra 10 millimeter, by all means, and you're going to be looking at a dollar twenty for what we're doing. If you bought this in the one meter length and purchased the 100 mil wide instead, you would be paying a dollar twenty, dollar thirty to replicate this mold, opposed to the 3.95 anyway. And we will show you how quick and easy it is to do. And um, yeah, it's not hard and it won't take long. So we'll turn it over to Troy to show you how to do it. Okay. So what we've got is as Emily said, it's a uh, 90 mil pipe this is a uh, down pipe so it's not the strong plumbing pipe for uh, sewer systems but you can use that for other things if you want to so this is the cheaper version but it's all you need and it's a lot sturdier than it is still a lot sturdier than, than what than you're the... purchasing yeah so first thing we're going to do is we're going to measure it out to thank you very much Emily 
So we're making them at 90 mil high. So 90, 180, 270. We'll make three at the moment. Um, actually, make me four. Four. 360. Because I'm going to do a a small camembert mix video, and I do believe that recipe comes out to four camemberts. So okay. I would like, and and as I'm doing these videos in my cheese section. I will actually use the moulds that we've made. I may use store purchase moulds, but even if I do, I will use some of the ones that we've used, and I will not do a cheese in a mould without showing you how to make that mould for that specific cheese, if that makes sense. Now what you do is mark it out, piece of paper, put it underneath, fold it over and line it up, And you have got what will be a perfectly straight cut. So we just mark it around. And so we'll come back when I've got the rest of them marked out. Okay, and we're back. I've got our four pieces measured out. Now, what I like to use is a five inch grinder with a diamond tipped concrete cutting disc. I find it gives the best results for cutting the PVC. It's nice and clean. But you can just use a hacksaw drop saw, wood saw, anything else, you might just have to do a little more cleaning up on the edge, that's all. So, safety first. And, oh, here we go. There we go, we'll come back in a minute when I've cut the other four. Okay, we have our four moulds cut to size. Now, it's a little clean up. Should be able to just flick off any bits if you use this grinder with your fingers. And if there's anything that's uh, still sticking or you've got a high spot, it's a file. Couple of little bits and just rub it around the edge. And you've got a beautiful mold. So the next step will be for drilling the holes in them. We'll come back to you in just a minute when we set up for that. And we're ready for doing the holes. So what we're going to do is I've got a small drill bit, two mil of size, and we're going to drill a lot of small holes in them. So that's just drill your holes. I'll keep drilling and we'll be back in a minute.
Okay, so now we've got that done. Emily's just using the file to knock off all the little bits of shavings that's caught on it. And you just want a light file. Very gently. And that just takes them off. And as you can see, we've pretty well got almost as many holes in there. Then you just use the inside curvature part just to run through the middle. And you, you take your time and make sure that you've got them all out. When you give them a wash, give them a go over with a, uh, with a scarer mm -hmm. and that should knock off anything that you don't get with a file. If you have to, um, if you've got one that may be stuck in one of the holes, you just use the, a shazlik or skewer. Yep. Um, even a wooden one will do, if not a metal one if you've got it. And just give every, you know, just have a look at every hole and see what's in there. Make sure it's clean. But I mean, for 33 cents compared to 3.95, I'm prepared to do that. Yeah, sit down and watch TV while you're drilling it out. That's it. Like, uh, well, we do things like this and you might listen to a podcast or you could be watching a movie. We might set up on the coffee table in the lounge room and go through and make a production line of things that we need. Yeah, Emily and I have been taking turns drilling the holes. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. So, yeah. thank you for watching. And look forward to our next video where Emily will be making some beautiful camembert cheese. I can't wait for the camembert cheese, the stuff I do for camembert cheese. Emily's <laughs> camembert cheese. <laughs> Please subscribe, comment down below and hit the uh, bell and so you get notifications when we upload a new video. Yep. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye. cheese press but that's still drying. How about while we wait? Well that's while well, well, I'm glad you came home from work. I've just got another project for you. I, sh I sanded, varnished and lacquered up that cheese press today. But